What's up everybody, Ricky Carruth here. Welcome to my very first episode of the pros and cons of being a real estate agent. This is a new series I want to do. It's gonna be raw and unedited. I just wanna create a video and document something in my business that's going on, um, just the inside details, good or bad. I'm gonna show you the good side of it and the bad side of it. And this way I can just give you a little context behind how I'm doing what I'm doing as far as selling all this property. I'm doing 100 deals a year as a single agent and it's not all roses. I have deals that fall apart that I can't put back together. I have some of the same fears I have to deal with. People ask me questions I don't know. There's all kinds of stuff uh, that you have to deal with as a real estate agent and I'm no exception. I know on the outside you see all the great things, but I try to be as transparent as I can about what's going on with me. I'm always talking about losing deals and how incredibly powerful losing a deal is. And I'm gonna get into some of the details of losing deals um, in, in later episodes of this series. So, so stay tuned. Um, I'm doing this in conjunction with all the other content I'm putting out. We have the Daily Grind, which is a vlog of me in the office working or traveling to do a speech to talk to a bunch of agents. I'm also doing educational videos for real estate agents and I'm also doing my full speeches um, along with all kinds of other content. So um, please click subscribe and hit the bell so you can get in on this. We're also doing completely free real estate coaching. It's the fastest growing real estate coaching program in the world at zero2diamond.com. There's a link in the description for that. So join over 11,000 agents in that program. And today I wanna to talk about just a story. And this is a story of me getting a listing. And I just wanna kinda of give you a little, little background about how all this came to be and, and, and a little bit of a funny, funny story, if you will, about when I showed up to the listing. So. About two years ago, I ran a Facebook ad. I was just kind of testing the waters for a find the find your property value type funnel, you know, type Facebook ad. And I, I just ran it to people who are getting my weekly emails. And I had a couple people uh, click there, respond, put in their information, sort of corresponding with those people. Uh, there was actually two clicks, I believe. And this was two years ago, of course. But funny enough, I closed on one of them a couple months ago and I just listed the other one. So it really works. But um, she responded, we talked, she said she wanted to sell. She didn't know it was gonna be about six months. So I started following up with her and six months later, she says, no, I think it'll be next year. So here we are next year. So around the first of the year, I contacted her. And she said, I'll be down there around the first of March and I want you to, to come by, I wanna list the condo. I said, great. Let's do it. So I follow up with her, okay, a little bit before that. And she says, yep, I'm going to be down there. I want to meet on this day at noon. I want you to bring the paperwork. I said, okay, do you want me to bring the photographer as well? I don't normally bring my photographer to listing appointments, but since she was signing the paperwork right then and there were renters coming in the next day, wouldn't really have an opportunity to take the pictures. I said, why don't I just bring my photographer with me and we can sign the listing and shoot it right there and that way it's done and we can get it on MLS and get the ball rolling. She says, wonderful. So the day comes, I'm gonna meet my photographer there at noon. He meets me there, we go up the elevator, we get up to the unit, I knock on the door, no answer. I said, that's weird. And I had texted the owner that morning and said, you know, I'll see you at noon. She responded, great, see you then. So I knock on the door a second time, no answer. So I said, this is funny, so I call her. And she answers, and I said, hey, are you in your unit? She says, yes. I said, well, we're at the door, we're at the front door. She says, oh, we were in the living room. Hold on a second, I could hear her voice as she was talking through the phone, I could hear her voice for real. And she opens the door, and she's one unit over. In her phone, in my phone, I had her down as 507. And she actually owned 506. So all these years that have been corresponding with her, in my phone, I'm thinking she's 507. And she comes out of 506, she owns 506. So it was kind of a little comical situation. And uh, my photographer says something like, I almost sold the wrong unit. And we get into the unit. Uh, I'm looking it over. I have all the comps with me. I'm working towards trying to figure out a price. Uh, my photographer, Sam, starts to do his thing. He stages it up a little bit and starts to take his pictures. 
And then Sam asked the owner, he asked her how she found me. And she said that she had been getting my weekly emails for a while now. And um, I started to run everything back through my head about how this whole thing came to be. She started getting my weekly emails 11 years ago. I started doing my weekly emails 12 years ago. So she was one of the very first people on my email list. I cold called her 11 years ago. She got started getting the email and she was telling me the story about it. She said over the years she got gotten all kinds of emails from all kinds of other agents and she unsubscribed from a lot of them because she said that she liked mine because it always gave her what she needed. The closed sales, the new listings, the pendings, the price per square foot, all the little things that I put in my weekly email it really helped her keep up with the market, keep up with the area, keep up with events, keep up with everything. It wasn't your, it's not your standard drip campaign, you know, um, with general information. It's specific information about the market that people can actually use to keep up with what's going on. And so I thought that was really interesting that I cold called this owner 11 years ago. She started getting my weekly email. She liked it so much. Uh, over the years, she unsubscribed from other agents' emails, okay? And then two years ago, I run a Facebook ad, and she clicks on the ad, and we talk, and uh, and then here we are with her condo listed, okay? So, so these are the things that happen, okay? These are the things that kind of prove everything that I'm coaching the agents out there about consistency, dependability, professionalism, knowledgeable, all the little things that the weekly email does for you. It creates the relationship and goes deeper with the relationship and you can scale it. You can have 5,000 or 5 million people in this email and it takes you 30 minutes to an hour a week to design it, right, and get it out. So when it goes every week on the same day of the week forever, it proves to them how hardworking, dependable, honest, professional, all that stuff. It proves that to them. So I thought it was really cool. Um, we got it listed. It's not on MLS yet. It'll go live tomorrow. So we priced it right. Um, I got her to price it right on the money. Um, she wanted to price it a little higher, but I explained to her that this is a price sensitive market and we don't want to scare people off. We want, we, want them, we want to squeeze it for as much as we can, but it's better sometimes, guys, to be priced a little bit closer to what they'll take and be more firm than to be priced higher with a lot of wiggle room because that difference in the listing price means a lot to the buyer when they're looking online and comparing it really means a lot so so use that with your listing presentations and when you're trying to price properties with owners and tell them that it's better to price it closer to the money and be more firm than to have a lot of wiggle room because you got to get them in the door and once you get them in the door, if they love the property, they start to become emotionally attached to it already. Now we have something to work with. Whereas if you're off a little on your asking price and they kind of and it deterred them from even looking at the property or moving it moving forward any further, then we lost them. So so keep that in mind. I hope that helps. I hope you guys enjoyed this this first episode of the pros and cons of real estate agents. Um, as far as the weekly email goes, tomorrow um, I'm gonna I'm putting out a video about why the weekly email works. It's a really powerful video. You're gonna get a lot out of that. And I'm doing a live training right here on this YouTube channel Thursday um, on the weekly email. The entire training is gonna be on the weekly email. I'm gonna go through it once again. I'm gonna answer questions. I'm gonna make sure you know everything you need to know about how to design your email, why we're doing it, and why it works. So. I look forward to seeing you guys then. Let me know if there's anything in the world I could do for you. Click subscribe and leave me a comment. Um, let me know what you thought about how this listing went for me, how I got it, what I could have done better. Any little comment, any little feedback uh, helps me a lot. Um, so with that, we'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks for watching.